The one that, that there is the most discussion around is uh, the fact that women drop out of the workforce when they start a family uh, and the challenges around that. I think there's a lot of discussion on that. On that, things are changing on two fronts, uh, happily so. One is the fact that families today tend to be much more supportive of uh, working women, particularly in the metros, because I think in the metros it has almost become a necessity now for uh, both spouses to work. And therefore, the, the support available for childcare from family and other sources, I think, has, has, has increased. And that's a good thing. The other good thing <clears throat> that has happened is that organizations have realized that it pays to invest in women. And I think they are more accommodating of the fact and more understanding of the fact that there will be this phase in a woman's career when you have to be supportive, but that it will pay off uh, multiple times uh, when she comes back. You know, so it pays to be patient, it pays to be supportive, it pays to be flexible. Uh, and that is something that still continues to be talked about, but I think that problem will get solved. The second barrier that women hit is uh, later on when they are in the upper end of middle management or in senior management, but when it comes to them taking the top jobs, I feel that there it's a mental barrier of self-belief that I can and I should ask for the top jobs and I can do it. Uh, I think women hold back. Uh, they hold back for in asking for a seat at the table. And I think that is where other women leaders can play a very big role. My own thinking on this has evolved in the last 15 years. If you had asked me this 15 years ago, I would have said it's all about merit. And, you know, if you do good work, you will be recognized. Uh, women don't need special treatment. Uh, is the argument that I would have made. Today, I believe that the second barrier that I talked about is a very big barrier, and, and therefore, it is actually almost incumbent on other women leaders uh, to, to, to reach out and talk about this issue and help uh, other women to, to, to cross this barrier. I've also changed my views about things like quotas for women on boards. Uh, this is something which I would have been vehemently opposed to 15 years ago, but I actually believe it's a good idea now. And the reason I do so is I believe that if you actually put women in those positions, uh, they rise to those positions. Uh, there is a an example that I like to give, which is not in a corporate context, but in the context of a village panchayat when, you know, the constitutional amendment, uh, etc., led to greater devolution of past to the villages. And then you had the reservation of the Sarpanch position for women in, in, in certain villages. And there was this anecdote, which is oft repeated, of, of a woman who la reached uh, on Republic Day for the flag hoisting she reached a couple of minutes late and she found that the men in the village, the elders, had actually reached, hoisted the flag and, and, and had gone home. But when she reached there, I mean, she said that I'm the Sarpanch, it's my job to hoist the flag. And she insisted that all of them come back and she hoisted the flag. So initially, you may get the wives and the sisters and the daughters-in-law uh, of men coming and occupying those positions and be so-called puppets, so to speak, as it's, as it's felt. But over time... I feel as women come to recognize uh, the, the power that the position gives them and power in a nice way, uh, I think they rise to the occasion and they deliver. And it's amazing. The moment you have these, uh, uh, these uh, quotas, etc., it actually pushes the boards to go out 
and look for more women on boards. So uh, typically you would get board members through your networks, etc. But the moment you go out and, and hire a search firm, for example, it's amazing the number of uh, women who show up uh, on the list of candidates, which otherwise would have never happened for these board roles. 